Hello folks, welcome back to another one of our Running Around the Galaxy episodes. You'll notice things look a bit more different. I haven't turned into a hippie. You look behind me at the interesting decor here. I'm actually at my parents' house, who are themselves not hippies, which makes this room a bit of a, a mystery. Um, I'm in the attic room, basically, and that's where I'm going to be running this stream from. Not as exa not exactly as exciting as when I was over in the States. Thank you to the 14 people watching us. I'm glad to see you here already. Um, what I'm going to say at the very start of this stream, just so that all the 14 of you are, who are here know this, is that we're going to be running a, a giveaway again today. Uh, we will be giving two lucky viewers, and that's anyone who's here, um, 15 lockbox keys each. So probably in about 45 minutes, something like that, you'll see, uh, or, or 40 minutes roughly from now, you will see a... Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? A a timer pop up that will take take you count down five or ten minutes to the point when we do it so so we'll keep you aware of that i'm joined again as ever by the inimitable the legendary catherine haley oh brilliant well i'm joining you from my lounge as for normal um <clears throat> i'm not on i'm not on video on the stream um but at some point we we'll, hopefully we'll get it sorted so that we can both be on video which be, i think would be pretty cool i know um i'd love that that would be so much better wouldn't it we'll get we'll have to get that sorted as soon as we can yeah definitely so i am right next to you on <clears throat> in the game so shall we uh, without further ado shall we shall we make our way to the fleet star base yeah i think that would be a good idea so is the best way to do that through transwarp i believe I think yes you can absolutely over there. so what why are we doing this catherine like what why are we going to the fleet star base by the way i should say thank you to dave for um cheering some um v bits as he's called them um but yes yeah, so why why are we doing this then what is the What's the objective? Here? So, so we <clears throat> we're in a fleet. Obviously, we're in an armada. Um, but there's lots of different things that you can get from the various fleet um, assets. So that's the um, fleet starbase. That's the colony world. That's the spire. That's K13. That's the embassy. That's the D dilithium mine. And all of these things are incredibly helpful. Mm -hmm. Um, to people. So we've had a lot of new people join the Armada recently. Um, but also some people, um, um, you might have got these things literally years ago uh -huh. and not actually, um, and not actually remember where to get these things from. So we're going to go through, we're going to go through these sort of, you know, one by one and let's um and let's go on with it could you possibly invite me to the your uh your fleet starbase please i am indeed there you go you should see the invite appearing now and um, by the way thank you Fantastic. again to the 13 <laughs> watching us right now so i'm just as you're coming here catherine what i'm doing is i'm sort of flying around the starbase a bit um it's actually you know it looks quite nice i've, I've don't know if I've really taken the time to actually sort of look at this design, you know? Oh god, I'm really crashing into a freighter here. Well, look, look at that, that was close, wow. Um, <laughs> you've got this sort of hood over the top of the starbase. Um, the lighting is interesting. God, that, look at that, is that you in the Malon thing? Oh my god. Yep. God, you're spewing out toxic waste all around our starbase there, Catherine. What are you doing? No, absolutely, I'm... Um... I'm a dirty polluter. That's terrible. Um, Do you think if I set off fireworks <laughs> next to you that I would blow up the gas? Is that possible? Let's see. No, it's not happening. But yeah, it looks nice. This, well, the Starbase did look nice before you turned up in your Malon garbage scow and just ruined the environment. Unbelievable. Look at that big Federation symbol on there as well. Look at that. See the shadow of the ship on the Starbase as well? That's awesome. That's yeah, the, that's a pretty good feature, that isn't it? Yeah, sort of the, the, the new lighting. Look, I can see the shadow of your mail on ship there. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> um, 18 viewers watching us right now. Thank you to all of you for being here. Don't forget that we've got a 15 key well, for two people. There is a competition happening in about 40 minutes where you will be up for grabs 
15 lockbox keys that you can go and you can either sell them on the exchange or you can play the lottery. So it should be should be beamed down to this um to our starbase. Yeah, let's 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 dock it. Let's get docked. Also, we've got a new follower, Free Quarks. Um, thank you for following us. Uh, you are now well. If you were a viewer, you would have been eligible. But um, yep. So you stick around, Free Quarks, because you will be eligible for, along with everyone else, the chance to win fifteen lockbox keys. So there will be two winners, 30 key giveaway, two sets of 15 keys. So stick around to the end and we're going to be doing that. I just noticed at the very start here, this pile of tribbles, right? Now what I've always found interesting about these tribbles is you can actually kick them around the place. The poor tribbles. Are they dead? You know, why are they... Um, I can actually play tribble football here. Whoa, look at that. Tribble around the galaxy, that's what this is, episode should be called. Um... What I'd like is if that if that central circle was actually a hole that I could sort of kick the treble into. But no, I can't. I'm going to just move the treble to the centre of the hole, right? Just to kind of, you know, for artistic purposes. Is that about right? Is that about right? Well, well that looks okay. Wow, look at that view down there, Catherine. Can you see that? All the shuttles yeah, flying really around. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Wow. It's really cool, isn't it? Have we got Damo... Uh, Gamo DK saying who dropped those tri triplets, <laughs> the triples there. Um, be nice to them, yeah. I'll, I'll, I will be nicer to them. Do you want me to move this triple back to its friends? Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's get that tribbly triple back over there with its friends. In fact, they're all over the place. Anyway, so what are we what are we looking at first in here, Catherine? What's the what's the so first the first thing? thing the first thing is to pop down into this little corridor here. There you are, cool. And look, we've both got so our, our uniforms on this time. Uh huh. Makes a change. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so this um, this console just here. Um, this um, this allows you to file commendation reports. Okay. Okay. So what this so what this is um, when you, once you've reached tier four in your commendation XP on the various different um, things so diplomatic science etc mm -hmm. and once you get to 110,000 um, commendation XP you can then turn in that commendation XP for fleet credits wow okay so you've got a couple I think you've got a couple that are live there so the interesting thing about this is it doesn't actually say that it gives you fleet credits right but it does Wow. So, and I take it these duty officers, they're not like sacrificed, are they? They're just selected and you get them yep. back at the end, yeah? Yep, absolutely. So it's um, it can be a good way of earning fleet marks. Um, if it, it passively, it takes, you know, if you've built up a load of commendation XP, um, you can then come along here and file 10, 11 different reports for the various commendation XPs. And okay. then they, they all finish, finish off and you can... Um, get quite a considerable amount of fleet marks by so doing that. How many fleet marks do you get per commendation mission? It's around about 50. It depends on the success of the mission. Wow. So it can vary between 30 and 80, I believe. Oh. But it is quite, it is quite a few. Awesome. I was going to point, so, point out as well, um, thanks to the 19 people watching us now, that's fantastic for the start of the stream. Stick around. 20 now. Stick around for the end, about 5-10 minutes before the end which will be in about um, 40 minutes, something like that. We'll be running a giveaway where two of the lucky viewers watching us will win 15 lockbox keys each. So stick around for that. So, Catherine. So this is the, this is the bank. Ooh. So um, it's not immediately obvious that this is here. So there is a bank at the Fleet Starbase. Okay, awesome. So we've got our um, account and Fleet Bank access. Um... Awesome, that's cool. And just up here is where you can get some uh, some duty officers. Oh yeah, I did see that that um, little pop up. So hail Lieutenant Ferra, who's I believe a Cation. So oh cool, so you can grab some duty officers from there as well. Yeah, so there's um when you so uh, for example under the diplomacy section, I've got some um I've got some duty officers that I can get for one. So I can literally get a duty officer, a purple duty officer from here without it costing any EC or 
um, dilithium. I suppose that's quite good for alts, isn't it? If you did, if you just needed a few to do to do some of your doff missions. I was going to say thanks to Chris for gifting two subs there. That was fantastic. Thank you for that. Um, so, I mean, is that what you use it for? Is it for alts? Yeah. Um. So I think, to be honest, the I generally there's an there's another NPC just over here. So this is where I um. So this is where I generally get. So, for example, if you need fleet duty officers for holdings, right. So it, if you need, say, engineering doffs, you can get them here for seven hundred and fifty fleet credits each. Ah, um, yeah, yeah, purple, yeah. Yeah. So purple ones count for more. Um. So that that's where you get your doffs and stuff. So basically, get get your doffs from here and then pop them into the fleet holdings, and then that's generally what I uh, what I use when I'm when I'm when I'm looking for doffs. So rather than spending two, three hundred K each on the on the exchange. So finally Can um, I poor treble just... you just booted it I did the same. Booting the trebles <laughs> around the starbase. Um twenty two viewers now, thanks to all of you for watching. If someone I could paste in there just a reminder, try and keep a regular reminder of the giveaway, that would be amazing. I saw a message earlier that was brilliant. But we just want to keep the viewers aware. Um we might not always get a chance to say it when, when the viewership goes up so um the tailor i yeah, see and so there's it's two not things. a cardassian this time <laughs> because do you know what i so think quite funny is that a lot of the tailors around the galaxy are cardassians right and the thing is garrick was only a tailor because like he needed a covered story for what he was doing on the station when he was a spy you know yeah like there's not there isn't actually a connection between cardassians and tailors do you know what I mean? Don't you think it's a bit kind of that whole idea that all Romulans are spies, all Klingons are warriors, all Cardassians are tailors, all Ferengi are like, you know, entrepreneurs? There's a bit of a basic thing going on there, Catherine. Don't you think, like, with these races? Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's just, I think it's just sort of it played into the narrative that they needed for DS9, didn't it? So yeah. I know, but I just mean for STO, when you go to different places, you generally find a Cardassian tailor, you know? So it's it's nice yeah. to see a different, that, that another species is capable of giving us some nice threads. So there you go. 100%. 24 viewers, thank so, you to all of you for watching. So this is this is where you get the fleet. Um, so if you pop into the store, this is where you get the Odyssey dress jacket for the fleet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, I remember this. I remember when I was doing the fleet, um, when I first joined the community and I had to basically check like the uniform out for like, what I was doing because I was attending one of the meetings or something like that and yeah. I could not find the thing. I was like, where is this? And it was only after a bit of a, 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 an internet search that I realised that you had to come here and, and buy it. So this is where <clears throat> the fleet space supplies officers so this is where you get your um so this is where you get your upgraded hangers from so for example um if you so a lot of the ships come with like a blue hanger so the rare hangers but you can then go into the store and buy the upgraded purple hangers from here by the way just okay. just to say we just had davy gift three subs i believe it was that was amazing Oh wow! Thank you, and we've got a new sub, um, Andrew Solver Bonus, and that's us hit the goal of twenty. There you go. How about that? How about that? Oh, that's Catherine? fantastic. So, um, in fact, let me let me just um, figure this out here. So I'm going to manage the goal, right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to start a new goal. I'm going to put it to two hundred followers this time so you should see that pop up on the screen now hopefully you've seen that um so we'll see if we can get to 200 followers that'd be amazing but yeah so um i've got the window really? open catherine showing the showing the hangers so what were you saying about that then yeah so these this is where the elite versions of the hangers um this is where you buy them so they're 100 hundred thousand fleet credits each and forty-five thousand dilithium we have a fleet dilithium discount 
Um, so they're usually a bit cheaper than 45,000 dilithium. Yeah, I think here it's 15% um, off, so it's just a touch over 38,000 yeah. dilithium. Now, the thing is, as well, if you get the dilithium fleet vouchers, you can use them here, can't you? Absolutely, you can, yep. So the um, these are the, the elite versions are generally better than the ones that come with the ship. So, for example, I recently... Um, I was recently unlocking traits on the Vorgon ship, which is the fourth one from the bottom. Um, so it comes with just the Vorgon Echelentis frigates, um, which come with... So the ship comes with with the pets that have Suppression Barrage 1 on, um, but the elite ones, which are available from here, um, have, supp have Suppression Barrage 3 on. Is it, yeah, well, I see them. Um, let's, I'm just bringing up the tooltip now, so let's have a look. So, um, what was it you mentioned there? That they um, so the, so they have. Um, th th this is just an example. So the the very the one that comes with the ship has suppression barrage one pets, whereas the, um, the ones from here have suppression barrage three. Right, I get you. So it's as as an example. So it's like an upgraded version of the um, of it's it's like an upgraded version of the um, of the pet that you can get. And you know these are fleet credits and dilithium. It's not zen. It's not you know it's not massive amounts of dilithium. It's you know it's quite reasonable for what it is. Absolutely. I um, just want to say thanks to Badger Brock for following us and um, Andrew Solpavonis for the, the sub as well. That was fantastic. Thanks so much for that. We're at 77% of a hype train. So if we can keep some of that going, the diff like the follows and the subs, various things will add to that. That would be awesome as well. So what's next, Catherine, then? Is there more here at this particular station or have you, have you wandered so I think somewhere? I've gone back to the transporter because I think we we need to um we'll revisit this at some point because this fleet starbase is massive. If you go in the um if you go in the turbo lift, there's there's various levels. There's a science level, engineering level, and everything else, and it's it's incredibly um it's incredibly incredibly um vast. Which, so which a lot of if, people I don't think realise, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. So, which one of these are we going to go to? So, shall we go to K13? Okay, so other fleet holdings. K I love K13. I love it. I, want yes. <clears throat> I wonder if I'll have to invite you um, to the map. Um, do you reckon we could... Or, or do you reckon I'll have to invite you to this again? I probably will. Well, I have no idea. Let's give it, let's give it a go. So I've just I've just typed an invite. Look at K13, I love it. Thanks to the 24 viewers, folks. That's amazing. Don't forget to stick around. We've got a competition at the end of the stream. Um, if someone could put a bit more detail about what the prizes are in the chat, that would be amazing. So look at K13. Look at how small K13 actually is in comparison to the other star base. It's a very small station, isn't it? Yeah, it's there's a lot of for me. There's a lot of nostalgia because I I I did quite enjoy watching the original series. Yeah. And as we're about to find out, it's very, it's very much themed around the original series. So, um, I have just landed. Me too. Um, if you could possibly send me an invite, I would. Oh crap! Hang on. Oh, I've gone oh. back to the Fleet Star base. Um, Hello. Let, let me go back have to you? Keith. Yeah, oh. it was. I, I clicked the wrong button when I was at the. Um, oh no. I, I was on the transporter pad. <laughs> Um, I've embarrassed myself. I clicked the wrong button, folks. There you go. <laughs> right. So I'll beam down, and then I'll uh, I'll invite you. I, I was trying okay. to click an invite button, but I uh, I completely messed it up. So fleet map invitations. Catherine Haley at Citizen Kane Home. There you go. Look, look at this. Look at this. I'm already in love with it. I'm already there. You are beaming in. Look at the reflections on that back panel of the, the transporter. I love that. What does that little sign say there? Deep Space K13. Uh, no idea. That's... Starbase class, by the looks of it. I was trying to see what it actually yeah. says. Starbase class, United Federation of Planets. That is awesome. That is cool. And look at that painting of the, of the ship there. 
I, I loved some of the TOS designs that we got, and I think it was it was Agents of Yesterday or something when it came out. It was like a, an expansion, or was that what it was called, the TOS one? I think so, yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah, it's it's um, yeah. There's a lot of nostalgia here, isn't there? Definitely. Definitely. So we've got the we've got the docking master. So this is basically a ship selector, so you can change your ship here. Casual Sab, um, um, uh, sorry, I just have to say that Spencer, Spencer, uh, thank you so much for the raid. Twenty nine viewers came across. Um, Spencer is one of uh, one of the authorities when it comes to various things in the game, whether it's uh, ship building or um, or so forth. He's also followed as well. Thanks, Spencer. Really appreciate seeing you here. Um, so. You know, I've spoken to Spencer for a long time, and also, you know, been watching his content. Um, so check out Spencer's stuff, okay? Um, if you've not already, I would highly recommend it for if you're looking for build information, how to make money on the exchange, anything really. Um, so thanks so much for that, Spencer. Really appreciate that. Sorry to interrupt you, Catherine. I feel like I'm interrupting you the entire no, time. No, it's all good. It's all good. So the reason why we're here is this: this is where you obtain the. The upgrades to some of the firing um, bits and bobs. So, what we'll do here is let's get the. So, we've got this is where you get superior cannon training and superior beam training and some of the other stuff. So, by default, some of the free personal space traits are beam training and cannon training. So, right. and I think they're 5% bonus beam damage and 5% cannon beam damage. Awesome. So this is where, so this is where we go to actually upgrade that to the superior versions, which gives an extra two and a half percent damage. Okay, so we go straight through here. Oh, by the way, I should point out, so we've got about 41 viewers now, just to say there's going to be a, a giveaway towards the end of the stream where two viewers will get 15 lockbox keys each. So stick around for the end. That will be in about, let's say, about half an hour's time, something like that, when we'll be doing the giveaway. So make sure to stick around, give us a follow, um, be active in the chat, and um, we will. Your name will be in there for, for in the pot for winning those fifteen lockbox keys. Okay, so this is the person who gives us the. Was it the personnel officer or is it? I think I've gone to the wrong side. It's on the other side. <laughs> All right. Okay. This this is how rarely I do it because you, you do it once per character, and um, and then you uh, you don't really end up doing it again. I'm trying to follow you around using the map. <laughs> oh wow, I sort of glitched through the door there. Right, okay. So, um, and by the way, just for the viewers to give some context um, to the people who have come and joined us from Spencer's stream, what we're doing just now is a thing called running around the galaxy, where we're we're exploring areas and giving a bit of detail into what's there, because no matter how long you've played the game. You might not know that these things are here. Also, it's fun just to look around at some of the environments that the devs have lovingly crafted over the years. And finally, there may be some new players around who want to get these details as well. So that's what we like to do. We like to take a bit, you know, it's not, it's a different type of thing. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking at. So why are we, why are we standing in front of this biologist then? This, this is where you upgrade your, the traits. So the free traits that come, so for example, beam training, cannon training this is where you get these superior versions of them so if you go into the um if you interact with the npc yeah i see you that. should then have some traits yeah absolutely so this is where you would it's um it does need a, a, a few resources though which is um it's uh, dilithium and fleet credits mm. um it's not massive amounts yeah but um it's an it's an extra two and a half percent damage which uh, for beams or cannons or wh whichever um whichever you're after beans and cannons i'd say is probably the two most common ones yeah that we go I, for. I, I think yeah i think i've selected i've, I've selected i think i've got the beams and the cannons and um, but i can see there's loads of other ones that i could probably do with having just for the option you know um yeah so if, is... you go, if you go to your traits And then look at your personal space traits and just type in, say, superior along the in the search bar. Yeah, let's have a look at a couple of them. Yeah, I've got beam and cannon. So, yeah, so what's the original one? Because I can see it's plus 7.5% bonus 
um, beam and cannon five percent. So five percent. Yeah, it's a two point five percent bonus, which is th that's the bonus is all. I think it's cat two damage or something. So the bonus is always a an indicator that something is giving you is giving you more basically. However, you can have what's called cat one and cat two saturation, and there is an equation somewhere that works that out. Um, I'm sure Spencer has has covered that in videos. I, I have no doubt about that. Um, but it's interesting because people think bonus damage, bonus this, bonus that, load up on that, load up on that. But there can be diminishing returns on Cat 2 damage bonuses unless you've got enough Cat 1 to back it up. Because the Cat 2, I believe, is derived from Cat 1 or something like that. Don't take my word on it. Um, but if you look up, right, if you're interested in increasing the damage on your ship, look up Cat 1, Cat 2 saturation. Okay? Um, and you'll be able to find that there are various threads about that. Yeah, so broadly speaking, so it's 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 a time, so you cat one times cat two, right? Um, and yeah. Yeah. So and this is this is a very simplified version of it, but it's it's effectively so if you have twelve um and you split the two, you want six times six. So you roughly want them to be you want to sort of, you know, add roughly the same on each side because then you'll end up with more whereas if you end yep. up with, if you have more cat one than less cat two you actually end up with less because obviously six times six is 36 um three times nine is um 27 you end up with less it's th that's a simplification of it yeah and i think what was interesting was there were certain cases where um when someone was add an extra cat two but didn't have enough cat one they were actually getting less damage output as well so it can go yeah. it can go both ways which is really fascinating because you wouldn't think that um, it's not an intuitive thought process because you would think that the multiplier would always multiply. Do you know what I mean? It would always give a larger return, but it's not always the case. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so 36 viewers right now, Catherine. That's awesome. I understand when you get a raid that you get a big influx and a few of them will, will move on. That's absolutely fine. But thank you to those who've stayed. If you did come from the raid and you've stayed, that's, um, that's awesome. Don't forget to stick around. We've got a competition in about... Um, 20 minutes, something like that. 15, 20 minutes, we'll be doing that. So where are we heading now then? So we're now going to go to the Fleet Solene Starbase. The Fleet Spire. The Fleet Spire. I liked your pronunciation you need to go to of the... Solene there. That was very elegant. <laughs> I'm, I'm so not so I think you need to go to the... <laughs> so you need Fleet Starbase. I haven't been... I... And then, yeah, and then go to the Fleet Spire. The Fleet Spire. Okay, okay. God, I'm stuck in loading and hell. There. I'm stuck in loading hell at the moment, for some reason. Still hear me okay, yeah, Catherine? Nice. Yeah, I can still hear you, of course. Cool, cool. So, yes, 4%. You guys can't see this because it's... Uh, there we go, look at that. You can see it now. So we're at 172 of 200 followers on the go. So if you haven't followed yet, give us a follow. Let's see that. Let's see that pop up. Let's see that move along. Yeah. Let's gamify this. Oh wow! Connection to the server timed out. Now it's going to reveal my email address to everyone. Isn't that wonderful? But it's a very, very, very old email address. So. Oh no. It's all right. It's one that I don't really, you know, I don't really use. But it's just, it's just typical. Oh, invalid username or password. Oh, God. What is my email address again? What's my password for this again? Oh, yeah. I think I know what it is. Okay, we've got Xanthum just uh, subbed. Thank you so much for that. Um, Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. We've got um, Fermin X had already hacked. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm going to do normal login. Normal login. Yeah. That email address, I've had that. I signed up for that email address in 1997 or something like that. Absolutely crazy. Wow. Yeah, it's um, a proper, a proper old one. So Fleet Spire, I'm on my way there now, Catherine. I think, will I have to add okay. us into a team again or will I just invite you? Uh, yeah, you can do. do it. Um, yeah. So what you'll find is that... Um, and this is just for folk watching, just to give them some context. I'm rounding my parents just now, and their internet is not quite as good as the internet at home. So, 
um, you will find that I'll be disconnected a bit more or, or that it will take longer to load, but that's fine. 34 people watching right now, make sure to stick around um, for a competition in about 20 minutes time where we're going to give two lucky viewers 15 lockbox keys each to go and um, gamble away or sell. There we go, look at that, I'm following this horrible looking Malon monstrosity. Let's have a look. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, and, and, and all other people out there, all of, of all kinds. Folks, I should just say. When I say ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of like your old-fashioned announcer voice, but I'm aware there's many more people out there, so all of you folks, take a look at that meal on ship. So, um, traffic control, we want to dock at the Spire, yeah? Yes, please. Oh no, it's doing the loading thing again. It is doing the loading thing again. Oh my goodness. So let's pray that this uh, this hurries itself up. I mean, this can't be an instance thing because these maps must be loaded all the time. You know? Uh, Rally in 05. Kath is good at converting everyone to mail on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, so are you a, a climate change denier, Catherine? Is that why you're flying a mail on ship? I'm not. No, the reason why just role playing one. Quite... <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why I'm quite into the um, I'm quite into the and it's not specifically the mail on. It's just it's a different ship. Okay. So, um, I am, um, and it was actually originally, um. Thurbon from Mutara Alliance, who he um he had this mail on battleship that was doing three like three hundred k DPS, which is right? pretty impressive, isn't it? Because I mean, it's not known it really as a, I mean, it's not known as a high DPS ship. Exactly, so it's a T five U as well, so it's not even a T six ship. And so I was like, and I've got I've quite gotten into tanking recently, so. Um, I've, I usually fly, fly the command battle cruiser, and I was just like, I wonder if this will tank. So, and it, it, it so I've got a Malon battle cruiser that will tank for T6 ships in an ISE and get between 75 and 80 percent attacks in. Not bad. Which, <laughs> which is, um, it's a bit of fun. It's unusual. It's, um, it's very, um, it's very out there. In fact, actually, I'm I'm incorrect. So, I've just been corrected by Shady. So, Serbon's Malon um, has seen it hit 380k DPS. Yeah, I mean that is very which... impressive for a T5 unit. And it just goes to show that with the right build and the right pilot, most ships can be viable in some way. And in fact, some of the PvP designs and ships builds people have run are completely different to what you would play in PVE. And some of them are, you know, some of them are really fascinating. Um, just going to point out, 37 viewers, thank you so much, and thanks to those who stayed after the raid from Spencer, it was much appreciated. So, um, competition in about 15 minutes, we'll be running that to win 15 lockbox keys, two of you will win. So we're looking at this little, f oh by the way Casting, it was going to say, after we've done a bit of an explore, should we go to somewhere like Air Space Dock or somewhere with a quiet instance that we can get some of the viewers to come and join us? When we do the competition, yeah, 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 let's do that. Um, maybe, maybe, um, maybe Josanna or something like that. But we'll, we'll, we'll decide in we'll decide in a bit. Yeah. So the reason why we're here is because this is where you get the vulnerability locators and exploiters. Mm. Okay. Now those so th they are those are good, aren't they? But there's been a bit of a change with the some of the new consoles that had come out. Was it the um, what were they called again? Isomags. Isomags, yep. Yeah. Isomags. So they've kind of changed some of the. You know, these are still very viable. If you're not looking, like, say you're on an alt and you're not looking to isomag up an entire character, these would still be. I mean, these wouldn't be best in slot anymore, would they? Um, no, they're not best in slot. Well, they are for tank. Uh, no, that's the infusers. But the, they are a good step towards um towards isomags. So these are very cheap. So they're fifty thousand fleet credits and eight and a half thousand dilithium. Mm -hmm. um, and when they're fully upgraded, they are they give thirty nine point four percent damage increase depending on the depending on the which depending on which level and uh, rarity you have. Yeah. Um, but the interesting thing with these is there's two different types. So you got your crit 
uh, you got your crit hits, so yeah. crit chance, and, then and you've got your crit severity, damage. Yeah. I've just I've actually yeah. got a tooltip open for the crit severity uh, disruptor one. I've got I've got a whole load of these in the bank, basically from the days yeah. when I was using them. Um, but yeah, I mean th this was a go-to for me. You know, I, you know, if I was changing damage type or if I was, you know, what I mean, I, I would be right up here getting these, um, whatever, whatever it took, you know. So absolutely, absolutely. These these are a good, these are a really good compromise. If um, so, isomags are, um, th specifically the the phaser and disruptor ones can be quite hard to obtain for newer players. Yep. Um, so these are an, an these are a, a fantastic um sort of step up so it's like a stepping stone um up to isomags need these I, I see people running these on elite ises all the time so it's not you, you know that they they will run in and they are good enough for running elites in yeah um absolutely just to get that extra dps at the top end you want um you, know, yeah. you want the the isomags well that's it i mean you're talk i mean most people are going to be fl i mean you do see players who are pulling like and this is not dps shaming but you do see players that pull like 5k 10k dps in a match but the vast majority of people are pulling dps that is far more than you possibly need to beat all the content you know um i just noticed somebody said oh it's a vern krellian said that yep this is my my beloved vern the uss e pg um <laughs> absolutely love this thing and someday at some point i'm going to go through the build um and, and, and explain what I'm doing with it, but it's not an unknown build. It's a slight variation on on a, a build that's been floating around. Someone said something about getting um, getting uh, Serbon on for a, a a build thing. We definitely want to do that. We you know once we've got it where we can stream and show what other people are showing on their screen, we can look through builds from other people basically. Um, Forty viewers right now. Um, fantastic stuff thank you for watching us um, don't forget to stick around in about um 10 minutes give or take we're going to have a competition um to win lock 15 lockbox keys each for two players edgeman just said v unit has a v ship absolutely um that is why i like the vern it's not because it's a great science platform it's because it starts with the letter v that's basically it although i will say it does add to it you know v unit v ship perfect it's an E ship, says Amaron. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so we are now at the requisition personnel person, aren't we? So is, yeah, is there so some kind of spe special nature to these duty officers then? Yeah, there is. So if you open up to the store, do you have a third tab? I don't have this tab. Um, I think it's called um what was what three options have you got listed there i've got um admiralty ships active duty officers and voth duty officers so plus so one, one of... active ground duty officer slot huh I've not yeah got that so one this yet. is so this is where you obtain the extra active space stuff. Well okay so by normally you'd have five and basically you end up if you want six you this is where you this is where you come and get it there you go so i've, I've just got it there I, i'd never had bothered with it but i've got it now um and i can see there's actually a, a ship for sale the vss trudon i didn't realize trudon actually funnily enough is actually the name of a dinosaur which fits with um voth trudon was like a small you know, it looked. It was almost like a. Do you remember Gallimimus from Jurassic Park? Like those kind of ostrich type things that were, you know, running around. Yep. Trudon was like a kind of a smaller version of that with a kind of a bit of an odd face. Um, Chris just cheered fifty bits. Thank you so much for that. Forty-one viewers. Thank you so much. We've got um, Renal 007 followed. You'll see at the top of the screen, folks, that we've got 173 of 200 followers. Are you all following? If you're not, click the button. And then you can help us to get to that goal. And the more followers we have, but I mean obviously subscribers as well, but I'm not pushing that too much. If you want to subscribe, you can sub. But the more community engagement we have, the more we can run competitions and giveaways like the 30 lockbox keys we're giving away today, split by two, 15 each for two lucky viewers tonight. 
and that will be happening in about 10 minutes time, something like that. Alpha Bravo Gaming 007, another 007 following, what is with the 007 theme tonight Catherine? It's weird isn't it? No, what, what are the no chances? Idea. What are the chances of that? Um, so, should we, given the fact we've got 10 minutes to go, should we look at another fleet holding or, yeah, and then go go to Drozana? Yeah, maybe? okay, let's, let's do, let's go to the embassy. Okay. So how do we get there again? So, Is there a um, transporter room in here? I can't recall. Do uh, traffic control and then scroll oh, yeah. down and go to the embassy and you'll just need to invite me Okay. Um, when you're there. Cool. Um, we had uh, Crochet Queen, Pamela, gifting subs. Thank you so much for that. We've got Steve, Steve, Steve Ozenestical. <laughs> um, I love that name. Um, has uh, followed as well. Thank you so much for that. 42 viewers. Um, don't forget to stick around to the end. Another 10 minutes and there will be a giveaway where two of you will win 15 lockbox keys each. Um, but yeah, keep keep on following folks. We want to hit that goal of 200. Um, all it is is the click of a button. I just realised that on the list here, look, it says Catherine Haley, right? Watch this. Expel. Is it going to work? Mm. Did it work? Yeah, it is. I'm leaving map in five, <laughs> four. I just had to do that. Oh. I just wanted to. I've always wanted. Do you know, I used to be a teacher, right? I used to be a teacher, and I've never. I've sent pupils. I'm not a teacher anymore. I would send pupils out of the class, but I've never had the chance to expel someone before. So um, I've invited you again. Hopefully, you can see that. There we go. Thanks for that. Could you imagine if I just expelled you immediately <laughs> again? Way. Trolling you completely. So, um, now that you're allowed in here, Catherine, what are you going to tell us about this place? Wow, look at that on the roof. Right. The ceiling. Holy moly. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a, a, it's like a, I don't even know what the heck it is. Yeah, I'm living my dream, Amaron, you better believe it. Um, Draco, Davey, Dave said, wow, live V-boot. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so I'm stealing your line as well, Catherine. I can't stop saying that. Absolutely. So where do we go? Absolutely. <laughs> um, so we're going to go in this turbo lift here, and then we're going to go up to ops. So the the fleet embassy is where you obtain um, SRO, so superior Romulan operatives. Okay. And now, why are they so important? So this varies if if you play a Romulan character. Um, then they are more easily obtainable, you get them off the exchange um, and you get them in the missions as you go along. Okay, But if you're not a Romulan character, this is where you obtain them. Now, the reason why um, why a lot of people go to, uh, go to go here for the SROs is because SROs give a boost to crit chance and crit severity. Okay, And it's not an insignificant amount either. Okay. Absolutely. So now, I've got some on my. I'm pretty sure I've got them on my build. They've all got stupid names like Steve and whatever, like just very simple names. But anyway, so is it in the traits section? So you've got superior Romulan operative plus two percent crit chance plus five percent crit severity. There you go. Which when you when you've got five bridge officers. Yeah. You know you're looking at sort of you know it's it's a it's it's a. 10% increase in crit chance and a 25% increase in crit severity, which is massive. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it's a huge, a huge um, boost there, isn't it? Uh, across and you do across have to be officers. Yeah, you do have to be careful when you are obtaining these. So, not all of these Romulans are superior Romulan, op superior Romulan operatives. So if you've never bought a if you've never bought one before and you're looking at buying one, um, you hover over, look at the tooltip before you buy it and you're looking for under space abilities. If I come out of that you can show it on the screen. Uh, show, show on the screen. I, I didn't realise only one of us could look at it. So Yeah. Ah, oh, that's so interesting. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get some of them that don't have it. Um so um yeah, superior subterfuge there. Then you've got superior. You're looking for it in the space abilities, aren't you? Basically. Yeah, um, absolutely. So if you you have over that, it should give you superior Romulan operative, the first one. Yep. So you want to make sure that, that that you're seeing that at the top. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Basically. Now there are 
There is an alternative to SROs, um, so if, um, so that these these are quite expensive. So oh, the watchers. Um, if you're yes, indeed. So if you're looking at kitting out, so just as an example, if you're looking at kitting out your bridge offices with five SROs, you're looking at you're looking at eight hundred thousand fleet credits mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, 170,000 dilithium, which is quite a bit. Yeah. Um, so you, there are watchers. So um, watcher offs. Now they also come with a boost to crit chance and it's plus two three crit, crit chance and plus three crit severity, isn't it? So it's a bit more of a spread. Um, I think people are feeling that the SROs are still, you know, for higher end builds, still. Better, and particularly for Psy builds, where you can obviously you don't want to use Psy Ultimate because it caps your your your, um, your crit chance. But with your, um, uh, I think it's superior. What is it? Is it superior astrophysicist or something? I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, a particle manipulator gives you plus. Um, no. Improved criticals. Plus twenty crit crit chance. There's one that gives you a plus fifty percent crit chance or something like that. Wait, what one is that? Uh, is are you is that probability manipulation off of the skill tree? I think it. Uh, no, no, uh, because okay. I don't think it is because that's the one that caps it. I may be getting mixed up, but basically, um, your crit chance is getting boosted on side builds a lot more than it would be for others anyway. So having um, SROs is preferable, you know, certainly in the high end for that to kind of round off your crit chance. Whereas your watchers basically are, you know, probably better if you're if you're not playing totally high end and you're looking to save a bit of money effectively because they're, they're, they work out cheaper, don't they? Technically. Yeah. So watchers are around about twenty million energy credits each so you'd be looking at around about 100 million energy credits so yeah. you know in terms of in terms of equivalent cost you'd um it's it's less than 10 lock box lock box keys isn't it so yeah you know if you're a lucky winner tonight with your 15 locks lock box key, I, can't, I can't say that tonight lock Tongue box twister. keys um then you could actually get out your um your your bridge with um with watchers if um if you are so desired which it's um it's a great again it's it's an option isn't it i mean it's you know sros are are you know let's just say sros can be out of reach eight hundred thousand um fleet credits is an awful lot of fleet credits exactly um it's an awful lot of fleet credits so you know actually watchers are you know, watches are, are are the cheaper alternative there and do very similar things. So that's it. And I think that's that's it for tonight. Yeah, well on the um on Yeah, well we've got the competition. So basically what I'm doing is I'm um starting the the timer. So you should see a timer on the screen now. It's four minutes fifty four seconds. So where is it we're going to we're going to go to a quiet instance on Drazana? Yeah. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, let's. Um, so, oh, we've, it's a five minute you've done. Okay. Cool. So, could you oh. invite? Let me just um, invite to. How do you invite to team? Again. Uh, so, I'll do it for fact, my what, friends on here now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, that would be the faster way to do it. Forty-five viewers, fantastic. Make sure to stick around because we've got. What is it? Four minutes twenty-two seconds to go until the um. The lockbox key giveaway, 15 keys for two people, basically. Two people will win 15 keys. So, we're just waiting for this team invite and then we can go to Drusanna. We're in a team already. Oh, we're in a team already? <laughs> Alright, okay. Yeah. Um, so, we have to. do we have to walk all the way to manually get out of here? Yeah. Uh, I've got a beam up option on mine. Have you? Yeah. I don't have that. What is going on? At the top, um, top left of your mini map. Yeah, yeah, it's not letting. Oh, it's grayed oh, out. That's weird. Okay. Um, so, so lobby. a bit to a lobby. That is so weird, isn't it? And then through to the transporter. And so we're going to head to Drozana. Yep. 
So we're going to find a quiet instance, yeah? So we'll, we'll find the instance that's quietest first. And then, and only then, we will open the floodgates to get... Uh... By the way, is it best to go... Can you can you tra transport to Rosanna or is it the Sherman system it's best to go to? I think Sherman, uh, isn't that's it? That's Sherman's K7, isn't it? Yeah, that's just fairly close to Rosanna. Yeah, we can do that. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get let's go to K seven and then and then we'll go over to Trezana. Yeah. So where is it? Forty seven viewers right now. Absolutely fantastic. So make sure to stick around. We have two minutes forty seconds until two of you are going to walk away with fifteen lockbox keys each, which is awesome. That's what we want. Don't forget to hit the follow button, folks. It's a click of a button. You'll see that we are 176. Yep, um, on the way to 200. So if a bunch of you click it, maybe we can hit the 200 before the end of the stream tonight. But what we're going to do, so, folks, is we're going to party, aren't we? We're going to party, Catherine, yeah. at Rosanna. So there is a question in the chat about SROs versus watches. Mm. Um, so. Unfortunately, that I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna um, I just need to look up at what the question was from the um. Let me just get to Drozana first, and then I can look up what the question was. Yeah, or it's, it's if we can re retype the question in or paste it back in, then we can see that. Or if someone else, yeah, go on, can ask. paste it or something. Um, yeah, just whatever's faster. Is it, was it Gaharius that was asking? Um, yeah. Cool. So I'm going to see what Rosanna instance we're on, and I'm going to basically move to a quiet one, and then we're gonna we're gonna get going. So we've got one minute. So Gaharius twenty has seconds. asked. I picked up. I picked up six watches from selling ten keys I bought. Should I bother trying to get any SROs? Um. So my my view on this would be um. There's probably other things to spend fleet credits dilithium on at this point um so it's the difference between so you, watches are three percent um crit chance three percent crit severity okay so for a total of um 15 percent crit, ch crit chance bonus and 15 percent crit severity bonus whereas the sros are um two percent crit chance and 5% crit severity. So you end up with um, you end up with um, less crit chance, but more crit severity. So actually Shady just put the answer into the um, where exactly where I was going into the, um, into the chat. So watches are better for newer players because basically they, they give a higher crit chance than SROs. Cool. So um, I, I'm on Drozana instance four, Catherine, because it's a, okay. bit, a bit smaller in terms of uh, of thingy, we've got oh, two seconds well. to go. So let me just get rid of that timer. So the competition is going to be starting in a second. So let me just uh, get that up on the screen. So you can see the, the chat we've got going on. Okay. So what do we want to do with this? Well, first of all, I want you all to go to Rosanna Instance 4. Okay. And Catherine, if, um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just, we'll go to the main room, will we? Where's the main room again? And then we'll run this competition. So I went the wrong way. It's, it's back down um, the hill. Yep. Yeah, so we will um, go up to the main area and then we'll run the competition. So where are you, Catherine? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, just by the Dabber table. Just by the Dabber table. So come and meet us on Rosanna <laughs> Instance Four, and we'll have a little party around the Dabber table, folks, as we get to the end of the stream because we've got about five, ten minutes left, something like that. So. Um, can I set off a party ball thing here, or what? Why? Ah, I get it. Uh, it's here. So let's get some representation here. Now let's do this competition. Okay. So here we go. So what I need you all to do now, I need you to be typing in the chat. Just type something like, um, uh, I don't know. What what should they type, Catherine? One word, something catchy. SROs versus watches, just 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 the threes. Oh, just SRO. <laughs> just type SRO. Yeah. So that's ev all right. everybody yeah. type SRO 
in there, right? Or whatever you want. Um, and it means we'll get your sort of names up there um, into the pot, okay? If you don't want to win, if you don't want a prize, then don't type. I probably should have said that. But it, it sort of increases your chances. So we'll give it a, give it a, a few more seconds just while we um, get folks sort of typing in there. Okay. Now, um, once you do win, um, if you hop over to the Discord, if you're not like a part of the community already or whatever, if you hop over to the Discord and in the welcome room you mentioned that, they'll put you in the Twitch room and we'll, we'll get you sorted with the keys, okay? So there's there's no need to worry about that. So do you reckon we should give it a roll, Catherine? Uh, did you see Chris's message about uh, adding everyone? Uh, what was he saying? He just said uh, add everyone. Add everyone, even the staff, admin and mods. Roll from all. Right, so we're doing it. We're doing it with everybody. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Right, so let's do it. Let's do it. So we've got BD Nuke is the first one to win fifteen lockbox keys. There Congratulations, we go. BD Nuke. Congratulations, indeed, BD, BD Nuke. You've just landed yourself a little prize there. So, what to do is pop over to the um the well, if you're if you're not a part of anything pop over to the Twitch um, welcome room. If you are a part of it already, then um, there's a, a claim prize room there. So there you go. That's fantastic. Well done. Um, let me just reload this page because it, it sometimes does this where it sort of, it doesn't like um, when it's already rolled for somebody. Everybody could just um, type, you know, SROs or whatever you want to type in the chat. We'll just build up that list on the left. So this is the last 15 keys that we're going to be running here. So let's get the typing going in there. You see your names popping up there on the left. That's fantastic stuff. Um, now, I mean, it's some sort of weird magic system. You know how it works. I don't know exactly what it's doing, but I, I, I guess it's just parsing names based on activity. So let's get get your messages in there, folks. Come on. Let's go. What, what, type what you want to type within reason. <laughs> it's not a free for all, but type something. <laughs> type something funny. Um, okay, cool. Um, Andrew just highlighted I... the message. I don't appear on the left list. That is strange. Um, hmm, that is strange. That is strange. That is weird. But then again, I mean, it is it is rolling from everyone. Yeah. I mean, it is because it's got all, it's got the staff, admin, mod, and user selected. And there have been winners in the past that I don't think were on this list on the side. I just think it, you know, it, it, it's for us to see. But I do like to give people a chance to, to type it, yeah. Okay. So this happened to us last night. Um, yeah. But like I say, it's pulled out names before that I've not seen in the left. So, you know. I'm in fact, even when I've had staff and admin unselected, it's pulled names that were were mods. So anyway, let's 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 go for it. Let's go for it. We've all got the same chance. If you're if you're on the chat right now, you're all, all got the same chance. Okay. So we've got Mister Totag has won the other, um, fifteen lockbox keys. So there you go. Well done, Mister Totag. Um. So that's. Yeah, the... he wasn't. He wasn't on the list, was he? No, exactly. So Mister Totag, yeah. Yeah. He is um well he seems to have appeared now, yeah, but I don't think he was was he there originally? I don't think so. Um there's people still appearing. So there you go. That's it. Awesome. Okay. So let's let's go back to the game and see who's all there before we wrap things up, Catherine. So let's have a look. Have we got a bunch of people hanging around? Um from Utara. If, if you're from Utara, uh give us a uh give us a, a jump or or whatever. I think we've got a few folk there. 43 viewers, that's fantastic stuff. So, obviously we're hanging about here on Rosanna. It's a bit choppy right now for a second, just while I see what's going on. Um, are we going to do a raid, folks? Um, is there someone else we can raid, share some of the love like Spencer did with us? Um, that would be awesome. So if, if we want to decide what we're going to do there, uh, that would be very cool. Um, I mean, I can look at some of the channels on... Um, on uh, Twitch right now. So we've got um, Trekkie STO, um, we've got, um, 
well, Tricky STO, I think, might be the only one that's actually doing STO apart from us. I should point out, we are, the again, the number one um, uh, Star Trek Online stream right now, which is fantastic. So maybe we can set up a, a, a raid for um, Trekky STO. That would be great. And, um, yeah, absolutely, Dave. Thank you so much to Casual Sab Spencer for the... Uh, um, the raid that was fantastic so um i'm sure we will see the raid pop up shortly um we can um then obviously we'll wrap things up i'm just waiting to see that raid uh and we can get that going look at the look at the dancing going on here isn't this awesome isn't this awesome i love it we're partying up rosanna this is what it used to be like in the game didn't it this is what it used to be like. Really tough. Yep. But we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Um, yeah, Pamela, it was um, Spencer, uh, who uh, is Casual Sab, one of the, the, in my opinion, top, if not, in, again, this is my opinion, but my favourite um, content creator for Star Trek Online. Um, and just a, a, great, a great person to boot as well. Really, really uh, top person as well. So, yeah, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, so, yeah, I'm just waiting for this this raid to begin. Are you seeing anything, Catherine? You seeing anything started? Raid wise? Uh, not just not just yet, no. Okay, okay. So, um, what are we going to look at next time? Do you think any ideas? Yeah, so there's a few bits. I think what we'll do is we'll pick up. There's a couple of bits that we didn't do on this. Um, on this one so we didn't do um we didn't do the uh the fleet embassy shuttle bay we didn't do the colony so i think we'll pick up those on the next one and then uh, we'll move on to something else um so i think um chris is saying to wrap up so um cool. it's gonna be a goodbye from me and a goodbye from me as well all right, see you later, folks. See you next time. And without you, we are nothing. <laughs>